Hello, Pelican Sound. I'm your head golf professional, Tim Harris. Going to talk to you today about the uh, environmentally sensitive areas out here on the golf course. Uh, recent trip with the CDD and the River Ridge uh, Community District. Uh, we wanted to define exactly where those areas are that you are not allowed to play from, a no play zone, so to speak. Um, so you're going to see those areas designated with a red stake with a green top on it, such as this one that you see right here. I'm uh, up the left side of uh, the lakes course, hole number nine. So there are, is the environmentally protected area all the way up the left side of the hole. You'll see I'm pretty close to the water's edge right here and we do have a red stake with a green top on it. What that simply means is that you are not allowed to go beyond the perimeter of the red stake that has the green top on it. If your ball happens to be on the other side of the red stake with the green top, um, you are not allowed to play that ball. You're not allowed to walk in there. Uh, you can't go retrieve your ball unless you can reach it from the other side. So some people have uh, asked me what are my relief procedures when that happens. Um, if there are no other red lines in the area, then you would just take a drop right from the red stake as if it was a normal penalty area. Um, but what you'll notice on the left side of this hole, if we come walking over here, is that once I get through the pine straw and all of the native grasses here, the hazard line is over here. You see a red line right here, which defines the margin of the hazard. So if your ball does happen to be on the opposite side of the green tops over there, you can take relief all the way out here where the ball last crossed this red line. Okay, so you have to determine line of flight where it last crossed this red line, and then you go through your relief procedures under penalty of one stroke, two club lengths from that spot, no closer to the hole. Now, the other question someone asked me once, and this is a common question, what if your ball is in between the area of the green top red stake and the margin of the hazard over here? Well, this is all considered a penalty area, and you can go ahead and play your ball from here, okay, because you haven't reached the green top yet but you are inside the margin of the penalty area so under the new rules of golf 2019 which you've probably seen in some of my other videos you can remove loose impediments when you're here you know I can remove some of the pine straw here if it interferes um, I can ground my club and I can go ahead and play this ball because I'm within the margins of the penalty area but I have not reached the green top yet so there's the definition there the green tops on the red stakes is basically uh, the definition of a no play zone so you're not allowed to go beyond those areas if you see a red line and then in some area that you can play from and then the green top red stake you can play within that area there okay you can ground your club you can remove loose impediments but just be aware of areas on the golf course because you'll see a lot more of them now usually they are designated with the uh, signs as well the brown signs that say preserve area please keep out we are going to be having the green tops out there uh, a lot more plentiful than they were before. So if you have any other questions, you can always call me, contact me, stop by, uh, give me an email. Otherwise, we'll see you around the golf course. Thanks, Pelican Sound.